and with electronic warfare going on now, today, all over the Western world, against civilian population, they are experimenting and making them sick, making them die, with psychological warfare, surveillance of your neighbors and whatever, and of course they say, oh, paranoia. No, it isn't. It's all according to the paragraphs, how you're supposed to do certain things. Yeah. And then uh, chemical warfare. And that is, of course, done with chemtrails, which are terrible. But the history of the US, for instance, shows that already in the 50s, airplanes in San Francisco and elsewhere, they were throwing viruses and bacteria to cause people to be sick and die. Can you imagine? Already in the 50s. Now it's coming out. Now even anybody can see chemical trails. They are, you know, um, planes that um, show X, for instance, at, yeah. the, at, the, at the sky, expendables. My house has, has many expendable signs. And, and uh, they have uh, viruses there if they want. They have bacteria there if they want. But yeah. normally in chemtrails they have uh, aluminium, titanium, barium, and magnesium in powder form. And when you breathe it in, you become sick maybe with with asthma with bronchitis yeah. but you also become implanted with a microchip and when you have metal in your body even if it's amalgam in your teeth which is about 50 percent at least uh, uh, mercury so then the beaming towards you with electronic warfare experimentation is much easier yeah. and that's why they want you to have amalgam and they they want you to have um, uh, all things. kinds of metal yeah. things yeah. inside your body yeah. and people know nothing about it and then they say oh this is paranoia you know come on my government my military is there my police is there to protect me that used to be maybe a hundred years ago but yeah. anyway today they are experimenting yeah. and the experimentations are deadly and they're very very bad yeah. Now, we have to know that not always everybody, 100%, is subject to experimentation. But with the chemtrails, anybody who happens to be in that area where the aeroplanes, and they're not only military, they also use passenger planes to, to spread the, the, the things into the air. So, of course, everybody will be affected. And with electronic warfare, absolutely anybody going on the streets where they change the frequencies of the lamps. It's electronic warfare. And in medical schools, they teach you that if somebody says that, oh, there are beams coming towards me, you're, you're schizophrenic or whatever. Yeah. Medical schools do not teach the future doctors what the truth is. Yeah. They have to find it out later in their own life and in their, with their own uh, dealing with the patients.